What if black companies refused to hire white people using an unfair hiring practice that made it seem as though the white applicants were unqualified when really they were just as qualified as the black applicants? What if an 82-year-old elderly white woman was singing and rattling beads on a commuter train and a black security officer dragged her off the train, causing injury to her due to him making her fall because he claimed she was disturbing the peace and impeding others from hearing the train's announcements. What if black people were always excusing the crimes committed by blacks against white people by claiming the criminal had a hard life as a child because he was a genius who just snapped while at the same time wanting capital punishment or the death penalty for a white person who committed the same crime as the black person they made excuses for? What if two black police officers responded to a life alert call of an elderly white man and the elderly white man told them he was okay. It is a false alarm, but the black officers force their way in anyway and attacks the elderly white man and kills him in his own apartment and local black police officials claim that it was a justified killing. What if a seven-year-old innocent little white girl was shot in the neck by a black police officer while she was taking a nap on the couch in her living room because the police officer did not heed warnings from people in the neighborhood that there were children inside the house before they raided it? More cops came rushing the house and I'm laying there screaming, asking somebody to help my granddaughter because he just shot her in the head. And he wouldn't need the help when they turned on the light and seen that she had been shot and killed out the house. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. What if a white teenager was arrested by a black cop and placed in his squad car with his hands cuffed behind his back and while in police custody the white teenager is shot and killed and the black officers claim he committed suicide even though they could not find the gun and have been searched twice and the police claim they did a thorough search before even placing him in the vehicle. What if a black police officer unloaded more than 100 bullets into a car, killing both a white female and white male passenger because they thought they heard shots coming from their car, only to find out there was no gun present? What if white people, after going through centuries of abuse at the hands of black people, were accused of being hateful racists for merely bringing up the truth about the slavery, lynching, hangings, raping, torture, discrimination, murder, Jim Crow laws, thievery, invasions, castrations, burnings, and almost total annihilation of some white populations at the hands of black people. What if after centuries of slavery, murder, thievery, and destruction against white people by blacks, whites were met with a nonchalant attitude by present day black people whose ancestors have done all of this heinous mess to white people for centuries, covered up their crimes, lied about their deeds, excused their actions, and still continue to this day to do the same things and have the same behavior against innocent white people, and they simply tell white people to just get over it.